Hey, you all. Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the south. More specifically, the oldest city in America, St. Augustine, Florida. And more specifically than that, we are at the Fountain of Youth. Now, tales, tales of the Fountain of Youth date back to 500 BC, 500 years before Christ. These legends spoke of, of, a, of, a, of a fountain that would grant users of its water eternal youth, those that would bathe in it, those that would drink it, it would not only restore youth they had lost, but it would maintain a lost youthfulness for eternity. And when the Spanish conquistador Ponce de Leon um, first went to Florida and discovered Florida, it was said that he was searching for the Fountain of Youth and believed the Fountain of Youth to be in Florida. Likewise, many feel that Ponce de Leon discovered the Fountain of Youth, discovered, well, you know, when you're talking about Spanish conquistadors, you always gotta put discover in quotation marks because apparently people had already found the Fountain of Youth. Native Americans in Florida had um, had found, had, had been use, allegedly using the Fountain of Youth to maintain their youth, to maintain a youthful appearance. And um, Ponce de Leon, of course a European, was the first European to uh, stumble upon the Fountain of Youth. And then there are several places in, uh, in Florida that they claim to be the Fountain of Youth. But this place here, this makes a pretty convincing argument. You saw the sign outside literally said, this is the Fountain of Youth. They state that the fountain is here. This is where Ponce de Leon landed. And they'll even let you drink from the fountain with the price of admission, included with the price of admission, eternal life. So we're gonna <laughs> go inside. We're gonna check out the Fountain of Youth Park here in St. Augustine, and we may even take a little sip of the water. Now please, follow me. Outside of the Fountain of Youth Park, we have smoked Southern barbecue. No word on whether or not the barbecue will uh, will grant you eternal life or not. Here we have the man himself, Mr. Ponce de Leon, there with his giant axe. We have beautiful grounds here, and it is full of peacocks. We can see a peacock over there displaying his beautiful feathers. Oh, here he comes. Oh, pretty bird. Pretty, pretty bird. We have another statue of Ponce de Leon. There's a statue of the Fountain of Youth's second most famous uh, icon, the peacock. All right, headed into the spring house where we get to see the actual fountain. Got one way traffic pattern or anything here. You just All right. the arrows in the floor. Downstairs where the well is, everyone's taking turns drinking from the fountain of youth well down there. So it says that this cross here on the ground put here in 1513 and remains here to this day. This was the mark put here by Ponce de Leon. Here we see uh, Ponce de Leon and his crew arriving on the shore with the Native Americans. You see the, 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 the spring bubbling there. And here it is, the Fountain of Youth. The spring was discovered in 1513 and was recorded a landmark in a Spanish grant. All right, we're gonna, gonna fill up our cup from from the Fountain of Youth. You can smell it, it smells very sulfuric. All right, here it goes. It has a very sulfuric taste. So, you know, if you're familiar with Florida water, 
Florida's not known for their delicious drinking water. It has a very specific taste. This is very, very, very Florida water. I remember this being not good, but uh, I remember it being really, really bad. It actually tastes a lot better than I remember. Ah. No, that's when we, I don't know, this reminds me of like, when you go to the World of Coke, you have to try the Beverly, the, this is like the, the Beverly of uh, St. Augustine, Florida. I'm not necessarily feeling any younger right now. I turned 40 this year, so I need to drink some of this. It's getting time. Very, not, mm, not delicious, but it's, it'll probably, if it gives me eternal life, it'll be worth drinking a cup of uh, sulfuric water. You see some of the Timucuan Indians right here. Their village with their straw hut. Different bits of pottery found here on location. And there's a bunch of pig tea. This old anchor here. Got a peacock perched there on top. Well, watch out, this peacock getting ready to blast us all with this cannon. Actually have an albino peacock there. Hey there. It's a replica of the mission or church that was originally here on the property in 1513. The Nombre de Dios. A very simple church on the inside. Looks like a stone. This be maybe like for grinding something, grinding flour, or maybe it's something more church related. I'm not sure. If you know what this is, let me know in the comments section. Yeah. Take a look over here at uh, the altar. There's a little photo opportunity where you can uh, be Ponce de Leon, a Native American chief. You can see they have logos right there for Instagram and Facebook. It's directed you to share this with your friends and family excuse me mr peacock mr peacock can i get a can i get a look at your feathers oh do you mind if i just got a look at your feathers there oh yeah very nice oh he keeps giving me he's giving me the cold shoulder this is satirawa he was the primary chief of the timakua tribe that uh lived here in saint augustine prior to Europeans showing up. It's a replica Tumukoan village. What it looked like when uh, Ponce de Leon first arrived here at the park. Over here we have some gator parts. There's a gator head. Then there's his uh, gator paws there inside of the shell. Oh, look over here. Have some uh, bones on display there. Top, we got some very, very scary shark teeth. The bottom there, we have some skulls. Oh, I think a cannon just went off. There's a possum skull, a beaver skull, a raccoon skull, and a bobcat skull. We have an owl totem. Set of, uh, and there we go. A hook for pretty much anything you may need. Of course, one problem, you put that in your house, you could burn your house down. Let's cool that off. Only takes a moment. And there we go. A hook for anything you might need. Over here, we can see this giant cross poking up next to the water that was uh, built in the 60s, and at the time, it was uh, the largest cross in America, but they've built, built much larger crosses since then. The first muster of militiamen in the continental United States occurred here on the site in 1565. What exactly is a muster? A muster of militiamen. I suppose they have a cannon firing demonstration. We're gonna go check out over here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that was loud.
loud. <laughs> There's actually a marker marking the spot in uh, 1513. It says Don Juan Ponce de Leon at sail from Puerto Rico in search of Bimini and the Fountain of Youth. On Easter Sunday, March 27th, he sighted this land and named it Florida, which I believe means land of the flowers. This little boardwalk out here jutting into the water. Right here at the end of the dock, there's quite a few. Over there you can see the bridge with the tiny little cars driving over it. There looks to be some sort of shipyard out that way. If you fall in, they can rescue you with this Fountain of Youth lifesaver. Over here we have a statue to Ponce de Leon himself. It says here on the plaque, born in Spain, 1460, governor of San Juan, now Puerto Rico, made the first recorded sea voyage, was now the United States of America, making the first landing in the vicinity of St. Augustine. St. Augustine is the first permanent European settlement in the USA. I think there were earlier settlements, but they are gone. They got Roanoke, but uh, St. Augustine stuck around. It says here he named the land La Florida, which yes, like I said earlier, it means land of the flowers. But I guess when he named it, it actually applied to the entirety of the United States. But then it got shortened or, or sized down to mean just the peninsula known as Florida currently. We're heading over to the Timakua burial ground. Uh, this roadside attraction actually was the uh, site of the first uh, Christian Native American graves found in the United States. Now in this building here, we have the graves of the uh, Native Americans actually buried right there under that sand. So apparently, the skeletons were discovered by a gardener at the roadside attraction planting orange trees and uh, they excavated and found the first Christian burial of Native Americans in the United States. You can see the pictures of what it looked like when it was excavated and they actually left it open and you could actually come into this building and see the skeletons there on display. That's why it's uh, building a setup this way. This used to be display where all the uh, skeletons were but uh, that was felt to be a little insensitive at some point so in the 1990s they reburied the Indians with a Catholic service because they were Catholic Indians converted by the Catholic missionary and the first time that I visited here a little over 10 years ago when you uh, look down here you didn't see the sand they actually had a mural matching all the skeletons so you could still see what the skeletons would look like under the sand see this cannon right here notice the uh, oyster shells in the base there and like every great Florida attraction we exit through the gift shop Here we have a Zoltan, not a Zoltar, but a Zoltan, and you can see he's dressed in that classic Ponce de Leon helmet. I guess we gotta give our give our sign. I'm a Scorpio, so oh, there he goes. Here is my fortune. Good fortune finds you out of the blue. 
unexpected funds will appear and your financial condition will greatly improve. A longtime admirer will come forward. Wear a yellow stone to increase your concentration. Always be gentle with animals. Well, I, would, I, would, I, I always am gentle with animals. Sink here actually disperses a fountain of youth water. It's actually one of the, the great souvenirs here. You can actually bring the eternal life water home with you. These different size bottles. You got the wine bottle size, the little hip flask size bottle of fountain water, and these uh, little tiny, little tiny jars. Got pots on the uh, on the label. You actually get little customized bottles that have your name on them. This one says Drama Queen, Wild Thing, and The Boss. And there's my uh, personalized bottle right there. Here's a necklace that has the Fountain of Youth water. You can wear that on your neck and like if you're ever stuck in a situation where you're trapped and you're aging quickly, you can just uh, pop that open and drink a little emergency refresher. It's a little uh, Fountain of Youth spritzer bottle. So you can just go around spritzing fountain water on everyone, keeping everyone nice and young. If you have $69.95, you can actually buy your own Ponce de Leon helmet there. Now I do have a Fountain Youth uh, bottle uh, in my bunker, but it's actually been evaporating. It's uh, like down to here. I don't know where that water goes because it's been sealed, but uh, maybe I do need to get a, uh, a fresh bottle. Over here in the toy section, we have a plastic version of the Ponce helmet. I think this is like a straw, a straw Ponce helmet, if that's a thing, I don't know. And then look at this, good old fashioned Pef helmet. I mean, people that have uh, been viewing this channel for, for a while may remember me back in the uh, Pith Helmet days. Oh. Thank you for joining me here on our trip to uh, the Fountain of Youth here in St. Augustine, Florida. A classic roadside attraction and a beautiful, you know, just a beautiful property walking around in uh, amongst the, the Spanish moss with uh, peacocks. Just a beautiful experience. And who knows, after drinking that water, I may live forever. They wrapped it up for me. I, I, I did buy a bottle of uh, of the fountain water. It's good to have on hand. You know, as I said, I turned 40, um, turned 40 recently, and uh, this will help me uh, if I start feeling a little old. So I'll keep that keep that near me at all times but thank you for thank you for watching um uh, please uh, please like this video please subscribe to this channel so you can see um, all the new videos i put out i do I visit all sorts of roadside attractions amusement parks museums haunted houses and all sorts of fun stuff uh, if you'd like to help support the channel consider donating to patreon three dollars or more we'll get you a postcard once a month also now selling enamel pins until next time this one's in the bag.